welcome to my channel it's Rebecca also known as 4kids at 147 and I'm going to show you a couple of framing options in this video um, so I've got this frame uh, this is a 40 by 40 with a 30 by 30 mount um, now I bought this one from the range and I did buy it a while ago um, so I'm sorry I can't remember how much it is um, but I did get it from the range just so you know um, so I'm just taking off, excuse the noise, the plastic cover. Um, now I do have a place for this. Um, this is going to go on my landing outside my daughter's room. Um, and I am planning on putting in it this canvas is, is the idea of going in this one. Um, however, I have also just finished this one um, which I think looks pretty amazing and this frame will do both so it either does a 40 by 40 without the mount or a 30 by 30 with the mount so what I thought I'd do is I'd do both um, and we'll have a look at how they look and then I will make my final decision so to turn it over we have these little black knobbly things which normally kill your nails um, when you're getting them undone but if you can get them to raise up a little bit these ever moment tweezers um, which who can also do they're fantastic <laughs> i use them to um, flip up these these bits of the frames all the time so much easier on your fingers um, if they're quite close to the frame itself you sometimes may need to sort of put your fingers underneath it a little bit to get them up but more often than not you can just straight use the tweezers which I say occasionally you have to lift it up a bit but how easy was that so that's the backing off it's quite a solid backing on the back of that one if you've seen me framing my ever moment which isn't and then we've got of course the sheet that tells you what size is and does your stock picture and then we have a mount and then we have the glass so i am going to leave the glass in there there's no need to take that out or mess about with it so i'm just going to move that to the side but let's just have a look what this one would look like oh look at that for a true 30 by 30 that is pretty much bar half a diamond i think at the top that is stunning i'm actually quite liking this one in the frame so anyway this is a mount so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the mount over and i've already got it in place but i can feel with the diamonds um, there is sort of two sides of the diamonds that will nestle in perfectly and then the other side you only have um it's like half the diamond is staying on it and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use some little strips of tape and stick it to the mount I've not trimmed down this canvas in fact I've not actually done anything with this canvas I probably should have rolled it with a rolling pin but I haven't so let me just check that that is in position perfect so I'm just going to carry on sticking this down onto the mount board at the back because the mount board is so thick it's not going to show any of the key And let's turn that over now wow how easy was that to mount so that is one of my options for this frame and um, let's have a look what it looks like in the frame so i'm going to pop it in and then i'm just going to hold it but that's what that one looks like inside the frame for a 30 by 30 i think that looks amazing um, and then my other option for this frame is this abstract round one and um, this was the primary one that we were going to use for this frame 
what I'm just trying to do is locate my scissors. Um, now for this one, I have to do it a little bit different because of course the canvas is the same size as the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut as close to the edge of the canvas as I can, just with my pair of big scissors. I do find I need to clean the scissors up after I've done a couple of these, um, but that is because of the glue that can overhang. It can just get caught up on the scissors. Even though I've removed it, <coughs> excuse me, there is normally some glue residue um, because I do trim it quite close, but I don't probably trim it as close as I'm actually cutting it. Um, but I just tend to clean off my scissors with a baby wipe. I know you can get stuff like undo and things like that that are perfect for doing um, on. You know, are made for removing glue from scissors, but to me, baby wipes do everything. They clean all sorts. All my kids are teenagers now. My youngest is 15. And I still have baby wipes in the house. Always have done. So I'm just trimming all the way down the edge of this. And then technically this should fit straight into the frame. We'll see, but it should. So I'm just going to trim around. I've got one more edge to do. Move my scraps out of the way. And then we'll have a look at what this one looks like in the frame as well. And then I might have a decision to make. Which one looks best? I might get you guys to decide. How good would that be? Yes, I'm going to do that. We're going to have a vote off. So... Once I've finished, you need to be able to see what both look like in the frame. I want your comments down below as to which one you think should go on my landing. Because this one is looking so much better than I originally thought it might as I completed diamond painting um, for being so detailed and so small. And I have used scotch tape on the back of that, so you probably will find, or I probably will find, um, that if I do ever need to take it off the mount, it will come off pretty easy. So are we ready? This is choice number two. Actually, it's canvas, isn't it? It's going to flap about. So I'm going to put a board in the back. Otherwise, it's not going to stay stationary enough for you to see it properly. I think I've got one of those black pins that's getting in the way. It's quite a tight fit, this board. I say it didn't cost much from the range. I can't remember how much, but I know it wasn't expensive. And that is the other one. Can I actually get the whole thing in shot? Possibly not. So that's the abstract bird with no border. Is choice number one to hang in my hallway is something a little bit different or on top of my landing and this is choice number two okay so we've got the street scene um street view i think it's called i think that's what the seller calls it street view or abstract birds street view or abstract birds what's your choice so give us answers in the comments below. Whichever one gets the most is the one that's going to go up in my hallway. Um, so yeah, we've got street view and we've got abstract birds. I like them both. I like the fact that this one is a bit different and abstract. However, I do actually like the fact of that one with its mount. I do think it looks very good it makes it pop a bit more as well I think so let me know in the comments below which one you think I should do um, but that is how I frame a diamond painting 
very simple very easy i will always go for the easiest option and i will always try oh my glass is falling out um i will always try and find a frame that is the right size for the diamond painting i do have another frame on my channel of a smaller painting where i did use washi tape around it and um, so you can have a look at that if you want to see how i've mounted it if not but more often than not i'm just going to put them both in at the moment um, but more often than not i will pick either a frame with a mount that's the right size or I will pick a frame that's the right size for the painting from the beginning. And then once the back is full, I've actually got the piece of paper as well that was inside it. I'm gonna pop that back inside, just in case. I don't know why I do, to be honest. Um, I know I do on some in case I need to stick the diamond painting to it. Um, but with this one having a mount, it's not as much of an issue. Suppose if I had one that was maybe 35 by 35, I would possibly use the paper um, and actually stick the diamond painting to it rather than have the mount going over the top of it. Um, sometimes I find that that works. And then if we can get it past all these pop-up black bit things, which never seem to want to allow you to put the backing back in. See, look, I get it in one side and it pops up. There we go. And that's got two diamond paintings inside it at the moment. And even so, these will still fold down. I'm not going to fold them all down because you guys have a choice to make. And then I will count up the answers and then the decision will be made whether this one is going up in my hall or whether the one underneath is. You decide. Um, so I hope this has been useful. Um, say very quick and easy way to frame your picture. In effect, I've just showed you the framing of two all in one frame from the range. And it was definitely under a tenner might have even only been about five six pounds i can't quite remember it was a while ago um that i picked it up but let me know your answer your verdict on uh, which way which painting it is that i do um and i'll get back to you with the answer and and what the public has decided and then i'll get that put up in on my landing um, if you've got any questions, ask them below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, but I hope this quick and easy way of framing your diamond painting maybe helps you to get more diamond paintings up on the wall um, so that they can be seen by all. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.